Let's look at the match of the week, guys. We are a match of the week? No way. Fnatic is always exciting, just because of the rivalry between the orcs. It was always really hype because it was always really close, and both teams had like big names. <laughs> now it's kind of derailing. It's kind of like the CLG TSM of nowadays. We feel like it's going to be a bit one sided. The guys in the <laughs> team during winter felt really hopeless. At some point, I even think people gave up. There wasn't much going for us. We were losing all of Paola, are you real Paola? Losing everything on stage. It or different like Paola? No one really saw a future with Say the, the secret code. These games on stage usually one thing goes wrong and then you can't really play. Uh, there's just no both. A lesson I took from winter is to really try to care for my teammates, to motivate them, to make them feel good so that every day isn't such a burden and going on stage isn't such a weight on everyone's shoulders and embarrassment. It should be like a happy feeling, a good feeling to come up on stage to play in front of the fans, win or lose, hopefully win, but even during losses it should feel good to be here. Reckless and Humanoid on touch. Again, they're going to try to be the difference maker. They're going to try to take down Reckless, but Reckless is still alive! And Koi have thrown everything away! Fnatic! It felt very unusual to have a win where it really felt like we won the game. It wasn't the enemy doing a mistake, it was just us playing really well. We won twice this weekend, which kind of... Okay, saying random mood, I think, up fruit. So yeah, it was really important to win. Finding the big barrels here at the end to close it out. Fnatic, it was a rough start, it was a rough winter. But after the winter comes spring, and spring looking a lot better for Fnatic. For the team, it would mean a lot to beat G2. Also for myself, like obviously it would be great. <laughs> I'm not gonna shy away from that. And that's also the feeling that was today with beating Koi. But I think I don't need it individually so much as we need it as a team. Perks. Slaughtered outside the entrance of his own base, overstays, but it's Fojin on the bottom side. Caps, Matt Smalls has been taking out upset. If it's real Paula, then I wish, uh, I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I started OTP Draven because of Reckless. I faced him in season two. I remember he was playing Draven with the blue skin. I used to uh, try very hard to like uh, beat Reckless because uh, back then he was like the best, uh, really like the best. <laughs> I decided to just buy Draven blue skin. From that point onward, I spam <laughs> and I spam Draven really hard. Got challenger the whole time. Season three, season four, season five. Getting to pro. So that's because of him that I played Draven. So as they're trying to start a fight, Hansama, no luxury to flash this time. He's going to drop to Reckless. Mickey going back to the fountain, followed by Alfari. Boom. In the mid lane. Oh, oh shit, Hansama when he got eaten to the wall by Vayne. He's like, uh, Pick me Vayne, guys. Really, uh, like a legend uh, AD carry, you know. Maybe I slowly became one uh, Loki. So yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be fun to play against him. It's just weird to hear these kind of things because he's king now. I am <laughs> I'm working together, but I think he's king now. Hansama low on man, but the hook managed to land. First blood, cash out for the Draven. It's disaster. Rux locked down. Now Yike becomes Yumi. Reckless running the axe. Oh! Disaster for Fnatic G2, just too damn clean. Usually, when you play like a bottom team at the end of the split, especially, it's kind of funny because you can deny them a playoff spot. <laughs> so, like the gatekeeper. So, I think that's kind of what's gonna happen next week. I wouldn't say it means Fnatic is back, but it definitely means Fnatic has good chances of making it to the best of three stage, which is already a big step up. They're probably already locked. Uh, going to the best of three stage. Maybe they're fighting for seeding, but for us, it's about bringing our best, best game, our A game. So it's up to ourselves if we're gonna make it. We just need to win one or two more games and we're in. And it's all in our own hands. Bow down. Okay. I think it's sick, man. I think it's sick. It's like, how can you hate on this, Nut? How can you hate on this? I think it's it's a unique direction, you know? I think it's I think it's not too 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 bad. Alright.